I think the media should have investigated the information more and lined it up for people to understand the case. Well, it's one of St. Louis's most well-known cases in the past two decades, the murders of Robin and Julie Curry thrown from the Chain of Rocks Bridge. You know, it goes all the way back to Emmett Till. It goes back to a number of cases that are more uh, notable than even the, the Chain of Rocks case. But it's, it's a thing that really most folks who are trying to stoke that, you know, that little ember, know that they can get a rise out of people. And so most people remember it was a negative thing that happened on that bridge and some black boys were involved. Clemens has been fighting the conviction and death sentence with every possible legal challenge. In 2002, a federal district court ruled in Clemens' favor. He claims the state court violated his constitutional rights. There's nothing in the record that I killed anybody. And there's nothing in the record that I know anything about a murder. And for that reason, the court said, the federal court said I should either get a new trial or at the very least be taken on death row. But he's still there. The decision was reversed, putting Clemens back on track for execution. I think they feel like I've been given enough consideration. And so that piece alone, I've heard many, many times, even in Reggie's case, well, he had his day in court. Well, if your day in court is messed up, from beginning to end, I don't see how you can count that as even being a day in court. That is a charade and that if somebody really wants to stop the process, they have to intervene and said there was not justice in that trial. I've got to get help, he thought. And he glanced behind him with a shudder at the steep bank and the rushing water beyond. I've got to get them some help fast. And Tom pulled himself up to a standing position and started to make his way through the trees. He had broken his right hip in the fall. His body was generally bruised and battered, and he was in shock. But Tom didn't know any of this. And in the relative comfort of walking on dry land, he ceased to feel any pain at all or concern for his body.